What's up everyone, Rob from Mishimoto. Today we're going to install our direct fit oil cooler kit on your 2010 to 2015 Camaro SS. Let's get started. Tools recommended for installation include T20, seven and 10 millimeter sockets, quarter inch drive ratchet, driver and extension, 13 millimeter socket, 3 8 drive ratchet and extensions, 1 and 1 16th and 19 millimeter sockets, half inch drive ratchet, a torque wrench, 10 and 1 inch wrenches, flathead screwdriver, a panel tool, and an oil filter socket. Installation time is about one hour. Installation difficulty is a three out of five. Set the vehicle on an automotive lift or raise it with a jack and place it securely on jack stands. Refer to your owner's manual for safe lifting points if you're unsure. Remove the two bolts that secure the lower edge of the front bumper. Here, I've removed the wheels for visibility, but it's possible to perform this installation without removing them. Remove the three torque screws and two pop clips that secure the driver's side fender liner to the front bumper. Then, unseat the fender liner and pull it back to expose the front of the wheel well. Remove the screw and bolt that secure the corner of the bumper to the underside of the fender. Then remove the three bolts that secure the front edge of the fender to the bumper. The last bolt is hard to see. Just follow along the seam between the fender and the bumper to locate it. Repeat this process on the passenger side. Locate the lighting harness connector behind the front bumper on the passenger side and disconnect it. To release this connector, slide the gray locking tab out and then depress the black tab. Remove the six pop clips that secure the upper edge of the front bumper. Remove the bolts that secure the upper corners of the bumper. Slide the bumper forward and off the nose of the vehicle. Remove the intake tube and air box from the vehicle. Our donor car had an aftermarket intake, so yours may look a bit different. Locate the hardware included with your kit. The small bolts, lock washers, and nuts will be used to attach the bracket to the oil cooler. Install the mounting bracket to the oil cooler as shown here. Then secure the oil cooler with the four bolts, nuts, and lock washers. Locate the large bolts and flat washers included with your kit. This hardware will be used to secure the oil cooler to the vehicle. Install the assembled cooler to the vehicle using the existing holes located just below the hood latch. Locate the oil lines in your kit and identify the line with two 90 degree fittings. Lead the oil line behind the shroud next to the driver's side headlight and pass it around the side of the radiator. Locate the 45 degree fitting on the second line and lead this end alongside the oil line you just installed. Attach the other end of this line to the driver's side port on the oil cooler. Connect the first line you led to the passenger side port on the oil cooler. Check to make sure the lines are flowing smoothly around the radiator 
and tighten both of the fittings at the cooler. Lead both oil lines down through the engine bay. They should run next to the alternator and behind the stabilizer bar. Locate the two pieces of weather stripping included with your kit. Install these strips over the edges of the radiator core where the oil lines pass around it to prevent chafing. From underneath the vehicle, lead each oil line over the top of both cross members. Place a drain pan underneath the oil filter, then remove the oil filter from the engine. Wipe the mating surface clean with a shop towel. Locate the oil filter adapter, sandwich plate, spacer, and fittings included with your kit. Note that the sandwich plate and spacer only have a gasket on one side. Lubricate the gaskets with fresh motor oil. Then stack the sandwich plate and spacer so both gaskets are facing up and slide the adapter in from the bottom. Now thread both of the banjo fittings into the sandwich plate. Install the sandwich plate assembly to the engine and thread on the oil adapter to secure it. Snug the adapter by hand, but leave it loose so you can adjust it later. Then attach the 45 degree fitting to the banjo fitting which is closest to the front of the vehicle. Tighten the banjo fitting to the sandwich plate, and then tighten the oil line to the banjo fitting. Now attach the 90 degree fitting to the rear banjo bolt. Tighten the banjo bolt to the sandwich plate, and then tighten the oil line to the banjo fitting. Check to make sure your lines are clear of the subframe and torque the oil filter adapter to 35 foot-pounds using a torque wrench. Lubricate the gasket on the oil filter with fresh motor oil and install it to the engine. Reinstall the air intake to the vehicle. Top off the oil with one quart of fresh motor oil and check the level on the dipstick. Continue topping off the engine oil until it reaches the top of the hash marks on the dipstick. Then start the vehicle and allow it to idle for 10 to 15 seconds. Then shut it off. Inspect all of the fluid connections on the oil cooler, lines, fittings, and sandwich plate to make sure there are no leaks. If oil is seeping from one of the connections, loosen the fittings and rotate the line. Then retighten the fitting, run the vehicle for 10 to 15 seconds, and check for leaks again. Slide the front bumper over the nose of the vehicle, taking care to align the corners of the bumper with the fenders. Install the two bolts and six pop clips that secure the top of the bumper. Reconnect the lighting harness behind the bumper on the passenger side and lock the connector. Reinstall the four bolts and one screw that secure the bumper to the fender on the passenger side. Reinstall the fender liner and secure it with the two pop clips and three torque screws. Reinstall the four bolts and one screw that secure the bumper to the fender on the driver's side. Reinstall the fender liner and secure it with the two pop clips and three torque screws. Reinstall the two bolts that secure the bottom of the front bumper. If you remove the wheels, reinstall them now and torque the lug nuts to 122 foot-pounds. Now that you have the cooler installed, double check all your connections for leaks and make sure the oil is completely topped off. Then it's time to take your Camaro for a test drive. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out.